Brian and Lou and Bear in, in a new Hawaiian shirt right now. He looks good. Yeah, he's just. <laughs> no, he deserves that. He gets out of line sometimes. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> You're Fits so in the tantrums. <laughs> you are, have some energy. <laughs> I am pumped. Lala, 2014. Yeah. Let's all drink Red Bull. That's actually how he treats me on tour, so you guys know. Because she there talks back all the time. There you go. You guys were great yesterday at Wrigley Field, singing the seventh inning stretch, take me out to the ball game. And uh, what kind of thrill is that? As Just as a, a fan, as a, a baseball fan, what kind of thrill is singing take me out to the ball game at Wrigley? I mean, you know, it's like... You get to do all these extra things uh, that you never thought you'd get to do, you know. For us, you know, they made us awesome jerseys that we got to wear yeah. yesterday. You get to hang out in the press box. You get to see the game from an angle you never get to do. And to have the honor for Noel and I to get to sing uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game yeah, was pretty awesome. Just the sheer history of it yeah. with Harry Carey and, you know, just watching like Bill Murray like I had a chance to like look over like old footage of people that have done uh, it in the past and that's really yeah. cool to be a part of that especially in a city that has shown us so much love since the beginning yeah. you know stages of our career it's really cool to have that opportunity and I, and I like that you said at the end let's get some runs like you did like you're <laughs> yeah. so cool I she's no dumb dumb she knows what <laughs> to <laughs> say we're in Chi-Town yeah. <laughs> you guys are also going to headline the uh, opening ceremony of the U.S. Open right yes that's coming up in, uh, in August, August 25th yeah a, oh, how does yeah. that go down like what um, it is going to be. They called us and they yeah. said, "Listen, last year we had Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> this year we, wanna we want to up our game. Right? Right. Do fits in the tantrums want to <laughs> sing at the U.S. Open?" And we said, "Let us think about it." And then we came back. We said, "Sure." We will yeah. grace you with our presence. Yeah. <laughs> did you I think have they a, took a vote. Did you have a, to audition with some tennis skills or anything like well, that? Well, if like, you look on our yeah. Instagram yeah. and in some of their press photos, we had to do a whole photo shoot of Noel and I on top of the Empire State Building. Nice. And Noel is holding a very large tennis, tennis racket. racket. <laughs> and Wait I'm for holding it. a very, very big large tennis ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> and now the bear. And, and now, now the, giant the bear. The bear. You know, yesterday you were talking when you're in the booth at Wrigley. You were talking about the significance Chicago had early on in the fits and t in the fits and the tantrums, kind of exposing the band. Talk, t talk us through uh, what Chicago means to you, the early stages and getting your music I, out there. I mean, this city is everything. This is maybe our biggest market in the whole entire country. Chicago has been with us since the very beginning. You know, when we were first starting out and Money Grabber was just starting to get out in the world, you know, Joe... Four Sh years ago, yeah. yeah. Joe Over. Shanahan at the Metro took a chance and gave us our own headline show when, honestly, we had no business getting a headline show at the metro we showed up two days after snowmageddon and it was like this birthing had happened because literally everybody in chicago had been confined to their house for like four days oh, straight that thing was ridiculous with those yeah. snow drifts when we yeah. got here we couldn't even open the bus door <laughs> we literally had to park in the middle of the street just so we could get out and we sold out that show and it, we played lala for the first time main stage right over there first festival we ever did and it's just been like that since the very beginning for us. And every time we come back to Chicago, it just gets bigger and bigger. We maybe play this city more than ever. And we're actually going to be back here in the fall, in November, doing a couple nights at the Ribs. So Which super excited room. about that. It's a fantastic room. And Sunday night, you guys are at the Metro once again. A little That's after right. show going on. Yeah. Tomorrow, you guys, 415 Samsung stage. Uh, that'll start at 5 on the Lala live stream if you want to catch it tomorrow. I talk about the, um, your music is uh, has a great, uh, success getting in commercial syncs and it's a great exposure for your music and your brand uh, was it ever a concern that you might be overexposed in that area and that still may you can still maintain your credibility was that never an issue like when your your music is in all these commercials or I mean, various commercials I don't think we ever really thought about that and you're yeah. always wondering on going into your sophomore record that's like the biggest challenge yeah on whether or not you can really challenge yourself to really expand and not lose the audience that you created from the yeah. beginning, but bear you know, likes be it. able to grow, be able to show a growth and not be stuck in a box. Yeah. That I think that was more on our minds, more so than whether or not, you know, we were gonna sync a lot or, you know, do anything like that. It yeah. was it was really about writing great music and making sure that we were really true to ourselves at the end yeah. of it, you know, because that shines through more so than ever yeah. when you're, you know, trying to be like everybody else and you know and everything's I think, about the money yeah and i think to your point you know it's like it's so hard to get people to pay attention absolutely there's just so much information out there there's so much great music 
you know, and so for us, you know, to, to be able to to supplement a little bit of our income with the sync and get more people to hear our music. All we want is for people to hear the album that we worked our butts oh, of off course. and that we love dearly, you know? Yeah. So if that's a means to an end these days, you know, 15 years ago it was, you know, a sin to do that. Oh, and how now, dare you? And now it's one of the ways that you can literally, for us, having Ellen use the music for the walker as the, the theme song basically yeah. to the Oscars, have her walking down the street lip syncing with 200 dancers. I mean, you can't ask for a bigger endorsement. We That's love beautiful. Ellen. She's yeah. been a huge supporter. And we garnered so many new fans because of it. Of course. It. Yeah. Yeah, so um, um, what was I going to ask you? You had a question, right? About You're, Ellen? Yeah, about Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> What's she like? Yeah. She's fantastic. The nicest man. person. Yeah. She's so nice. But, you um, know. With the payoff, I was gonna say, with the payoff for that is like yeah. when you see people singing the words to every song, that has to be validating as an artist and as something that you put so much into. Yeah, does that oh, ever get old? Nothing, no, that never gets old. Yeah. And what's cool is to see the harder we work. You know, we haven't been off the road. We've been touring for six years. Nonstop. Coming to the same city four, five, six, seven times in a row. And every time we come back to a city, it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. And we see people not just singing the hits, but they're starting to sing all the deep album yeah. cuts on the record. It's There's working. nothing it's like working. that. I mean, which is even more gratifying because you're not just writing a record for like three songs. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Here's you're the writing radio a single body yeah. of work. Yeah. 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 And the fact that people are listening to it from beginning to end is you amazing. Do, you yeah. do like 12 songs for a reason. You're not doing an EP. Exactly. It's a, it's a exactly. you know all killer, no filler. <laughs> exactly. And do you get an endless supply of laughing cow that? Mayonnaise, what it was? Uh, the cheese. The cheese. The ch it's a cheese, right? It's something. It's well, we're it all a delicious. bit of cheeseaholics, so <laughs> look, if they want to endorse us with a lifetime supply of uh -huh. cheese, we'll take hey. it. Thumbs up. <laughs> Fits in the tantrums. Uh, I'm so happy for your guys' success. You're Thank you so Thank much. I've known you for a bunch of years. And seriously, to all of you guys at 101 WKQX, thank you so thank you. much for all the thank incredible support that you guys have showed us because you, really it's been uh, incredible. Can you teach me to whistle? You don't know how to whistle? I'm a bad no, well, whistler. Well, first of all, really you can never whistler. look cool whistling because yeah. you got to do yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that strong He's a whistler. That He's been yeah, practicing. That's why trying, on stage you know? I have the other guys do it. <laughs> Bear's the real good whistler here. He's a little shy right now. but Fits in the tantrums, Lollapalooza. So great seeing you guys again. Thank you. Thank you, guys.